Okay, so now let's look at an example use case of the factory pattern. Let's imagine that there's a user interface where the user can select from a menu of items such as chairs. The user has been given a choice. It's unknown how many chairs the user will choose or which type of chair until the application has started. So when the user selects the chair, the factory then takes some property involved with that selection such as an ID type or other attribute and then decides which relevant subclass to instantiate in order to return the appropriate object. So here is a UML diagram. Here's the client application down here. Could be anything. And it has access to a chair factory. So it says to the chair factory at some unknown time, get the chair and passes in an attribute and we get an object back. So the chair factory has in it a small chair, a medium chair and a big chair. And they all comply to the iChair interface, which describes one method, get dimensions. So it doesn't matter which chair that the client asks for, the chair will have a method get dimensions because they all implement that method since they all implement the iChair interface. Okay, so there's the source code. I have the source code already set up since when I downloaded the zip. Okay, so the first file I want to look at is here in factory client.py. So what I've done compared to the concept code is split up all the classes into their own files. So there's client, which is the main entry point. There is a chair factory class where you can see that that's the chair factory there and they are the imports. It needs to know about big chair, medium chair and small chair. There is a big chair class implements iChair so it has a get dimensions method returns its own height width and depth that was initialized when we instantiated the big chair now the big chair gets instantiated in the factory class that's the chair factory they return a big chair those two brackets are saying give me an instance of the class of big chair so where the chair factory is being used which is in client chair factory get chair get me a small chair small chair well at this point we don't know what kind of chair it is get dimensions we're just printing the dimensions out so anyway, going back, there's the small chair class, there's the medium chair class, and there's the iChair interface. Just one method that all the classes that implement the iChair need to provide. Okay, and it's a static interface method. We'll talk about these decorators in the next video. Excellent. So we can run this client.py. So Python factory client.py. Okay, so it's getting me a small chair. Small chair width, depth, and height is 40, 40, 40. Let's try something else. Let's try a big chair. Okay, width, depth, and height, 80, 80, 80. Okay, so also notice that after calling the client PY, since it imports other classes and those classes, such as chair factory, is also importing as well, it creates this new folder called PyCache. These are the compiled bytecode of the PY files down there. So when you first run it, it will generate PYCs for all your imports into a relevant file called PyCache under the factory in this case. It only needs to do this once, but if I changed any of these files, such as small chair, let's go to small chair, and I change that to 41, and I ran that again, I'll bring a small chair. Okay, so it would have rebuilt this small chair C Python file down here. We can't really read that in the editor right now, but there is some text there. That's compiled by code that the python interpreter will use and it's safe to delete those if you ever think you need to because the next time you run it it will regenerate it there we go it only has to do it once if i run it again it's not regenerating those it's using the existing unless i changed something in there okay so let's look at a summary down here so the factory pattern is an interface that defers the creation of the final object to a subclass okay so that's what we saw here in the chair factory we have the chair factory and the chair factory is returning the new object okay so so there's the client so we're not creating a small chair directly in the client such as get me a small chair like that we're deferring it to the factory where the factory will create it and give it back to us okay so the factory pattern is about inserting another layer or abstraction between instantiating an object and weight in your code is actually used so it's when you want that abstraction you don't always have to have it it's when you want it it's useful but when you don't know how many objects you'll need until runtime for example a user interface you can press buttons right you want to localize
specialized knowledge of the specifics of instantiating a particular object. What this means is the client here only has to say, get me a small chair or a big chair or a medium chair, but the specifics or the complications of that, the client doesn't need to know about it. And actually the factory doesn't really either. The factory is asking the specific class for the chair and the chair that is returned is complying to the iChair interface. So it has one method, get dimensions. Okay, so you may want to create an external framework of some sort that you can import or reference. Okay, so here I've split all these up into different files. These are all under my control, but you could have a third party or a developer who looks after the interface chair, the medium, small, and just creates chairs or an API somewhere or a specific client developer. And the client developer doesn't really need to know about the complications of all these inner classes and what's involved in those. The client developer is just worried about the client. So it's allowing you to hide the details of the specifics involved in creating the final object or product. Okay, so and especially the unique factor about the factory pattern is that the object creation is now deferred to the subclass that the factory has delegated it to. Excellent. So in the next video, we'll talk about ABC Meta. That is these things here where I'm using this abstract method decorator and importing ABC Meta. Okay, so excellent.